Last week we were going to talk about Christ, and today we were going to talk about business and time. So as you can tell, I didn't wear any business and time today. Uh, when I leave class day, I'm going to a place of golf, so I said, well, we'll jump. Can I go with you? Um, <laughs> you got some clubs? Uh, you got clubs? No. I'm okay. working on getting some, but I like to play golf. Oh, you do? It's a fun sport. Uh, I've been playing, I'd say maybe, maybe about 10 years. Not that long. But you got to start somewhere. Mm -hmm. You know, if you like nature, if you like being outside in the trees and the woods. And mm -hmm. You know, some folks in here like hunting. hunting. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, you got to simple. You know, you just, you got, instead of hunting for animals, you're hunting for your ball. <laughs> but the way I play, I'm still in the woods, it's not my fault. Okay. Alright, so instead of talking about business and time today, we're going to talk about proper etiquette. And another word for etiquette is what? Manners. Manners, exactly. Manners. Where are you from? Jersey? Philly? Mm -hmm. Jersey. Okay, say manners again. <laughs> Manners. I just said manners. <laughs> manners. <laughs> All right. Okay. Uh, proper etiquette. You want to arrive early for your interview. You want to dress appropriate. Uh, good man. When you walk inside the door, you want to take your hat off in, in the doors. Uh, and you want to be positive and confident, uh, but you don't want to be arrogant in the interview. You want to make sure you smile. And your polite. One of the things we talked about, well, I don't know if we really talked about it, but we had a perfect example of good manners and bad manners last week. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right? Yeah. Um, and <laughs> we got to make sure that you always present yourself in a positive light. I put on one to that. Go ahead. Uh, whenever you're being interviewed, you should not be looking all over the place. Mm -hmm. Just look at the person who is interviewing you. Good eye contact. Good, good eye contact. <laughs> um, all right. First, you want to shake hands firmly. This does not mean crushing the other person's hand or shaking it so hard that you shake the head off. This means you just connect solidly, smile, and look the person in the eye. So, everybody stand up and shake somebody's hand. Now you do it, church. Welcome to your neighbor. So, also. Okay. Now, if you, okay, 
Okay, stand up for a second. Extend your hand to me. Like the other hand. <laughs> it's all right. Right. Now you see how gently you're, you're shaking? Oh, you see that. Feel how, feel how she's grabbing. <laughs> Don't break your hand. Just, just, just hold your hand out. Hold your hand out. And grab it the way you grab it out. Okay? You see how gentle it was? Right? When you shake a woman's hand, the, the, okay. when you shake, when you shake, when you shake a lady's hand, keyword, lady's hand, the amount of pressure that she gives you is what you return back to her. Like when you see a man, you're supposed to give him a nice firm handshake, you know, a firm handshake. Now how would you feel if I shook your hand like this? Okay. 
But if, if your name was John or Mary or something that's a common name, you want to make sure that they know your full name because they may have interviewed three or four Johns that day, three or four Marys that day. So it's always important to give them your entire name. Uh, but for me, if you don't give me your full name, I don't want to know what you have. Like, you know, okay, why don't you tell me your last name? <laughs> you know, what is it, what is it about you? Come in for this job and you don't want me to know what's going on. You want to speak with complete sentences? Oh, some of these things are common sense, but I always like to rearrange it. Do not chew gum or candy during the interview. I had somebody do that one day. They had a peppermint and they just kept it. And they would have kept spinning it around. And they just kept sucking it and chewing it. Peppermint now. Don't sit down until the person offers you a seat. Well, you're better off you now. Ain't going to stand up. What's so wrong with them? You don't want to do it. You like this kid in it? Hey. Oh. Put that stuff in the interview. I'm playing golf. What? That's a business. Going out, they interview me. We're playing a little bit. Talking about etiquette, you know. If, I, if my ball is in the woods, am I going to kick it out and shoot? Or am I going to play fair? If I miss a shot, am I going to get mad and start cursing? Or am I going to say, it'll be all right? Yeah, it's, it's all relative. It's all because I see how you do this. How would you handle this? If you had a customer that was upset about something, are you going to tell them how you really feel? Or are you going to tell them, the, uh, what's, what's the thing? It's called the three, the three, I think it's called the um, three R's. It's a, it's, a, it's a terminology they use for business, but it's like, um, it, it'll come to me in a minute. But it, it's, or would you try to get them through the process and help them out in the best way possible? So, Use you as a use you as a Alright, tell me that <laughs> how, how would you solve that problem? Oh. Where would you like me to sit? Where would you like me to sit? <laughs> oh, you hear me say have a seat? These are, these are the mind games people in business play. Oh, okay. they, they, try want, they want to know if you are attention to detail. I give you a perfect example. Don't, don't go anywhere. Mm -hmm. I, uh, about, about five years ago, I had to go to the meeting. And uh, it was for a client of mine, and they, we, we had done some construction work for them. They were nine days behind in pain. And it got to the point where it looked like they were trying not to pay me. So I said, we're going to come in, we're going to have a, have a meeting and, and go over these invoices. So we're going to understand what, what's the problem. So they wanted to be all big shot. Well, come on in at, at you know, 9 o'clock in the morning, and, and we'll sit down and meet with you. So you had a project manager there, and a superintendent there, uh, and a accounts payable person there. 
But instead of having it in the office, they had the meeting in a big boardroom. So they had a long table with all these chairs going around. <laughs> Here I am, all by myself, walking with my little uh, folder of my invoices. Mm -hmm. So the office might have had, the conference room might have had, uh, let's say, 15 chairs <laughs> going around the conference room table. Mm -hmm. And there might have been people sitting at five of the chairs. Now you have another 10 chairs that are empty. So I walk in, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, and I introduce myself to the folks. And there's 10 chairs. Now I could have went and just sat down and I wanted to sit there. <clears throat> but going back to proper etiquette is, any, any seat you want me to sit in? Because how do I know that there are not some more people coming in to the meeting after I sit down and mm -hmm. they want to sit next to me? Okay. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Maybe the president of the company is coming to sit and that's his favorite seat that I'm going to sit in. So what I did was I said, is there, is there any particular seat you want me to sit in? No, go ahead, sit in the way you want. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay, sure. Or, um, we're actually, we're waiting on two more people, and they're going to sit here, so if you don't mind sitting over here, that's, that's not a problem. Look at it like, I always give the analogy of Thanksgiving dinner. I invite you to my house for Thanksgiving. How would, you, how would I feel if you just came in and just sat at the head of the table? Mm-hmm. Right? You have to be looking forward for your, your, your <laughs> yeah, I guess that, just run, that, guess that runs in the family. Right? When you don't get what you want, you just get up and walk out, right? <laughs> but, no, <coughs> but no, seriously, um, I try to use real life examples, not just internet based things. So that's why when you, when you mentioned that to me, you were correct. But I always try to expound on there's other there's other reasons why uh, just just not from an etiquette standpoint of how to see. Because have, has anyone ever been in a job interview where where what do you call it like a panel interview? Where you might have two or three people interviewing you at the same time? Yes. Yeah, 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 sure. Shelves. 
or uh, they're working out here on the road. You see that? They're working on the road. You see the guys that hold the stop sign? I see the flag that cheating one day though. He had it in the cone. He was not cheating. <laughs> Right, but you see what I mean? His job, is, his or her job, is to stand in. So if I'm doing an interview with you, with you standing, it it might not be because I'm trying to disrespect you as a person. Say, nah, I'm gonna make you stand because I feel like it. You know, because the type of position you may be applying for might be uh, important. You know, the information that we're talking about during the interview. So if you can't stand for five minutes during the interview, how are you going to stand for two hours as a flag man working for me in construction? How are you going to stand at um, uh, the grocery store, Lowe's or Food Line, the cashiers? You ever notice, the, do they have chairs where they sit down? No, they no, up. stand up. They stand up. Mm -hmm. So if that's what you're applying for, I might make you stand during the interview. <laughs> and sometimes has walk through interviews, walk through certain locations, and they tell you about certain things, and they ask you questions, because they might, the manager or the interviewer might be busy when you come, so they might just have, have you tag along. Have, has anyone ever applied for, um, for if you haven't, you know, someone <coughs> has applied for a job at like uh, UPS, FedEx, I did with UPS. Uh, <laughs> what do they call the company? Like Deer Park Water, the water company the mm -hmm. water, it, the, that delivers the water. Mm -hmm. So you, your dad works at UPS. But okay, good. How long has he been working there? Since I was like eight. Okay. Every year, was it every year, every other year? Doesn't he have to do a physical? Mm -hmm. Do a physical. And oh, I physical. Yeah, strength physical. Yeah. And what are they? See, you didn't think I knew this stuff. Did you? Uh, <laughs> well, what kind of things does he have to do with the strip physical? Like pick up boxes and stuff like that. Pick up boxes and carry them for a certain distance. So, <coughs> if I am hiring for a job at Staples, and I say, listen, what I need you to do is, um, you know, nice to meet you, but before we get started, I need you to uh, take this right here, and you see that red car up there? You sit this behind the red car, and behind the red car is another box, and bring that back in. There's no box behind the car. I'm just making it. You might look at me and say, I'm not your trash man. Who, who are you asking me these things for? Right? Mm -hmm. But you don't realize. The reason why people ask you to do these things, because I'm asking you to carry this out there, not because I could, couldn't do it myself, but it's a certain. Can you carry this box out? Because if you're working at Staples, you're going to have to load some things on the shelf. Uh, you might have a customer says, hey, I want to buy that printer over there. Can you help me get it down? Or I want to buy that laptop for the show's work at it. Mm -hmm. Or, hello, miss, um, you need some help carrying this to your car? Can you load it for well, this whole meeting in person? Yeah, if I had a senior citizen or someone that was handicapped that, that was in a wheelchair and they came in because they're about to open a restaurant they need, you know, uh, 100 calculators and all this other stuff, I'm going to wheel them around as long as they need. I'm going to take care of this. Mm -hmm. So if, if you can't carry this out there, I'm looking at it not as much of a, a manners thing. I'm looking at it from a from a strength test because I'm just asking you to see how strong you are. Now I didn't say get as my father would do, my father's in the military, get out and give me 20. You know, my dad would do that. I might get in trouble. Uh, Alright, give me 20. 20. Huh? I mean that's what he would do. He said, said we on 20, right? Yeah. Hey look. <laughs> All right, who wants to, what's it called, a certificate when you graduate? And, and, and you, before you get it, you got to get out and get 20. <laughs> <laughs> there be some folks in here doing some push-ups. Oh, yeah. Right. Huh? <coughs> yeah, exactly. But that's what I mean. You know, you have to realize that 
questions that people ask you, they, they're, they're, some people look at them as they might be easy answers, but you have to look at why they ask you these questions. <coughs> um, don't bring me one with you to the interview. Anyone. Your kids. Your mama. 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 Your yeah, because you can't hear something like that. Yeah. <laughs> right. That's right. But there's, there's, there's a um, little caveat to that. Now, imagine if a family member was sick in the hospital, or you, you were married and your wife was going to be delivering um, a baby soon, or something. Well, wouldn't you want to know something like that? Right. So, what would you do in that situation if you had an enemy? You let them know. Reschedule before it happens. Like, <coughs> if you know your wife will have a baby on the same day, you got to go to the interview. Then you should reschedule the Now, what if you've been waiting for this interview for about six months and it's not and it's hard to find jobs these days? I don't know. Mm. She understands. Hold on, hold on. I'm expecting my wife to call me or my girlfriend to call me. She's having a baby. Opportunities as you have the best. And then your mind is a little more relaxed. 
end up second in Yes. So you're not thinking about her being in jail and God has spoken. Correct. And then also, <laughs> you and the person interviewing you might have You might have so many problems. You, you, you're going to talk about it. It might be in the section. You know? They may or may not have children. Now you come into the interview, you have a little conversation about life. How's the little baby? You know? it, it, it's always oh, the way. Here's a picture of it. I mean, that, that's what gets you in the door. Not just your resume, it's the interviewing skills. How can you, how can you work it so that people are going to say, listen, I like this person. They're reliable, responsible. Listen, if they come and work for me, I know that they're going to try to keep the job because they got a kid to uh, take care of. I mean, so there's a lot of other things that go into play. My time ends at what time? About 10 30. I'm going to just go into the Okay. Okay, let me see. Um, to the show, you got time, man. <laughs> right. A couple more things and we'll wrap this part up. Don't slouch in your seat. You want to sit up straight, uh, make sure that your shoulder blades touch the back of this chair. Oh. Always sit with your legs closed. Mm -hmm. Not use any profanity. Um, I've seen that before. Do your knee test. <laughs> <laughs> That's so common. Please, please, please say that for me. All right, I'm, I'm done. Hold on a second, hold on. I, uh, a friend of mine asked me to, um, they had a, uh, um, it was like Miss, not Miss America, but it was like Miss Black USA pageant. And when they have the contestants come through, you're supposed to, there's an interview section where you sit down and ask them, you know, uh, how would you change the world and how would you do this? <laughs> No, do not move. You see how you sit? <laughs> That's exactly how she was sitting like that. During, during the, no, Vinny, look at it. <laughs> That's exactly how she was sitting in an interview. Because I'm thinking, listen, you're not, I'm not going to vote for you sitting like that. Yeah, your knees touch. Okay, don't use profanity. Uh, don't make any negative comments towards your prior. Employer, like you know, they may ask you, um, how, was, how was your last job? Don't speak a lot with your hands, don't use any uh, nervous mannerisms like I got a hand for doing it. What you mean? Well, hey, hey, man, I ain't doing that, man. Well, all right, um, that's what we talked about last week. You got to practice. And I talk with my hands a lot as well. So sometimes what I try to do is put my hands in my pockets. Or, you know, hold my hands together. Just, if you know that you have, and I'm not calling them a problem, but if you know that you have something that you need to work on, then you work on that. Some people, some, some women like twist their hair. Some people like bite their nails. Um, what else? What else? What else? Some, what else? Shake your knees. <laughs> Shake your knees. Grind your teeth. Um, uh, you ever see people do this on the table? Uh -huh. or, or take a pen or a pencil and... You ever see the thing where they roll up? Yeah. Up I used to do that. Just, just, just little things. So what you have to do is you have to practice I won't say practice not doing them. Be aware of, of what you're doing. Mm -hmm. All right. Why? Why stop me asking? Does anybody ever? Does anybody ever play poker? Play what? Poker. Yeah, I'm okay. I'm okay. Poker. Poker. I'm not talking about on the internet. I'm talking about real poker. Yeah, I'm about real poker. Yeah. Real poker. If you play cards and cards, if you play poker, those are called what? What signs? Poker face. Tell signs, right? <laughs> When you play a poker, if you notice things about people, oh, that you play, right? Yeah. So when you play a poker, what do you try to do? Have a three calls. Three calls. 
white people, <laughs> white folks actually have a, and, they, and that's when they came up with the, the phrase called having a poker face. Yeah, I see what I mean. Having a poker face, you know, being doing things so that people can't reach you. I smile at you. So with this job interview, I won't say have a poker face, but I'll say have an interview face. You know, have it so that if you're doing certain things that you know that you do, now is the opportunity for you just to practice not doing it. All right? Thank you.